Walmart Information Systems and Technology. In 1975, Walmart leases an IBM 370-135 computer system to maintain inventory control for all merchandise in the warehouse and distribution centers and to prepare income statements for each store. Electronic cash registers in more than 100 Walmart stores record point of sale or POS data to maintain inventory. In 1975, Walmart builds a company-wide computer network and deploys a system for ordering merchandise from suppliers. In 1979, the company builds a computer center and installs the first terminal in a store, an IBM 3774. In 1983, Walmart replaces cash registers with computerized point-of-sale systems, enabling fast and accurate checkout. The company begins to use barcodes for scanning POS data. This was called Universal Product Code or UPC a barcode that would be recognized by all scanners. In the next year, 1984, the use of Texlon handheld terminals when reordering merchandise. Upon scanning a shelf label, the unit provides a description of the merchandise, information on prior quantities ordered, and other data. In the 1987, a check-in system designed to take full advantage of container barcode labeling is in the back room of every Walmart store. In 1990, a data warehouse prototype is created to store historical sales data. In 1992, Walmart deploys the Retail Link system to strengthen supplier partnerships. The system provides vendors information on sales trends and inventory levels. Retail Link is a reporting software developed by Walmart. It gives Walmart suppliers access to point-of-sale data, documentation, reports, store information, Walmart communications, and special applications that suppliers use to manage their business. Meanwhile, in 1996, Walmart makes retail link and EDI available via the internet and begins using the internet as an application platform. Electronic Data Interchange or EDI is a standard format for exchanging business documents. These documents are exchanged between suppliers and retailers. The EDI system acts as the eyes of Walmart. How can the information provided by EDI be used to help some of Walmart's suppliers? First, the inventory of their product can be determined for each individual product. Next, sales can be computed by location to help with the supplier market research. And last but not the least, product flow is accessible and detailed. In the year 2000, Walmart.com is founded, allowing U.S. customers to shop online. In 2004, Walmart announces it will deploy Radio Frequency Identification or RFID technology on January 1, 2005. Radio Frequency Identification, commonly referred to as RFID, is another information system that is used by Walmart. This is a technology that uses small tags which contain microchips with data on particular items. In 2007, Walmart.com launches its side-to-store service, enabling customers to make a purchase online and pick up merchandise in stores. In 2013, Walmart is testing the waters of cashier automation, first by letting customers scan and pay for items within an app, and now giving in-store reps the ability to help customers pay on mobile devices. In 2016, Walmart Pay, a fast, easy, and secure way for our customers to make purchases with their smartphones, becomes a popular in-store payment method. In 2017, a second scan-and-go pilot at 120 stores in August 2017, which expanded to an additional 120 stores for this year. It lets the customer carry out in-app payments, eliminating the need for the checkout counter altogether. In the mid-2019, Walmart unveiled a new technology called Alphabot for its grocery business. It says the platform should enable it to pick, pack, and deliver shoppers' online grocery orders faster and with fewer headaches. 
It has been testing Alpha Box since the middle of 2019 at the Walmart Supercenter in Salem, New Hampshire. Developed especially for Walmart by Startup Alert Innovation, Alphabot helps to enable quicker, more efficient order picking. Adoption of this new system across stores can lead to a more seamless grocery pickup and delivery experience, making substitutions easier to anticipate and fill. And this is Walmart's Alphabot, their latest technology. As checked on the news last June 20 to 2021, Walmart is looking to remove all cashiers from stores, going fully self-checkout. According to Walmart, the retail behemoth will be going fully self-checkout and are scan and go by the end of 2021. That means it won't be long before you go to Walmart and you'll no longer see cashiers or man checkout links. You're likely to see self-checkout hosts and possibly one or two lanes with a cashier for those with special needs. It's likely that Walmart will save money by going to cashierless checkouts. But the primary reason for the change, according to Walmart, is to speed up checkout times, give customers more choice, and give them more control over their shopping experience. <laughs> 